It works. It's awesome. What's up, guys? So right now, I am about to head down to Spokane Creek. We're going to go down there and... Uh, you get to see a little bit more of it, I guess. Also, you can see there's been a little change of scenery here, I guess. Desk pretty much looks the same, but I'm in a different part of the house now. Uh, I kind of expanded my area. <laughs> I took over an another room, basically, but it'll work out. So anyways, let's head down to Spokane Create and see what they got going on down there uh, this week. <laughs> But I see movement inside, so let's go see what's going on. What are we working on today? We're talking about the milling machine and how, uh, how the There's direction a ghost of the machine. <laughs> hey, I'm Tyson. Oh, Tyson, I'm David. What are you working on? Uh, I'm making a little bracket because I don't have any lumber that's the right size. I need one more piece to finish out this frame that's going to hang up here. What are you building? Oh, just an awning? Yeah, that'll help keep the smoke and sparks and dust and stuff. We have a wall here, it'll be an entryway over there. Yeah, awesome. Come in and get your um, daily recommended well, dose of iron. Well, I'll let you get back to it. <laughs> All right, what are you working on today? Uh, I don't know. Oops. Hey. I'm looking for a yeah. That would be here. Right place. Is this your first time here? Coming. This is my second time coming. Awesome. I'm Tyson. Taylor. Hey, done. Oh, Taylor the Baker. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, David. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. All right, so I've been looking into getting one of these for a while, and they have one here, so I can finally get to test it out. It is a soldering rework station. The biggest plus for these, though, is that it's got this tip right here. This is a suction tip. I have a real sensitivity to solder smoke. It gives me a headache almost immediately. So yeah, let's play around with this and see how it works. Okay, so I've got this piece of cardboard here. I'm gonna see how much it gener how much smoke is generated just simply by touching it to it with the smoke absorber off. So you can see a bit coming off of there. Okay, now let's compare it with the smoke absorber running. Wow. I don't see any escaping it. It actually really works. Look at the difference. The amount of smoke you saw there, I did a much bigger area here. And absolutely nothing escaped it. Even after you stop, a good amount of it still is pulled into the smoke absorber. I don't know if you can really see that. I didn't expect it to be that effective. Solder smoke is one thing, but this is a little bit thicker and definitely more of it. So if I shut it off, you can see how much smoke is being created. I'd say quite a bit, actually. And then if I flip it back on, it captures it all. I'm really impressed, actually. I think I may be ordering one of these. This place is amazing. So, uh, as far as the smoke absorption goes, give it a thumbs up with my hitchhiker thumb. What are you working on? Oh, I'm trying to rig a light. Oh, how'd the turntable come out? Uh, it's actually turning. What do I do to fix it? It's not turning. What'd you do? I turned it on. <laughs> do you have it geared now, or is that just on the armature of the motor? That's a, a belt. I think light is kind of an issue now, too. I think probably smoother than that, though. Yeah, this is too close. <laughs> I think he had tilted it higher to get faces, though. It got yours. Yeah, it's, it's not going to get mine. But it was like too tall. Yeah. <laughs> It's definitely getting that front side of that, the fan, the foam. <laughs> is it getting the front side? Yeah. Oh, wow, yeah. This is too much. We're going to try my device I made. This is up to 6 amp. Uh, 36 volts. Let's not do it at 24 volts. Oh. It's going to max out your turn anyway. Yeah, it would, you're right. So what voltage was this at? Let's go to 3. Uh, should we limit the current or just leave it? Limit the current to like 4 amps. Oh! 
Look at that! Free in front of the it works! <laughs> yeah. We are bouncing off the current limiter though. Do you want to drop the voltage or the current? Voltage? Uh, probably. Yeah, that all looks good, so just click the. Yep. This is a 12 volt motor, correct? Yes. But you gotta get six amps. Yeah. And then it'll be really fast. I don't want that to fly off of that. Isn't it usually like a red light? Yeah. That's 10 volts at 4.3 amps. From two 18650s. There you go. How long is the life on that? I don't know. Can we try to stand on it and see how it works? Yeah, that's what I want to do. Honestly, for your 650s, I'll stand on it. Okay, so we're going to do some testing on this. Here, hold on a second. Let me show you the... Let me take it apart. I'll be able to describe the testing on it a little bit better. That's almost as bad as mine. Mine back down and then it up. All right, guys, so here is the issue with this. These are the batteries for a project of mine. Uh, this is the charging board on one end, but it's a 1S charging board, meaning it is only for one single 18650 cell. But I need these in series to uh, power my project. So I wired this switch so that it will switch between uh, when it's on, it'll be in series, and then when it is off, they'll be in parallel for charging. Uh, for some reason, it's not working. And I refuse to accept that this isn't doable. So uh, I'm gonna be stubborn and figure out why uh, the charger isn't doesn't seem to be reading it right. I, I think something's wrong somewhere and it's still seeing them in series as it charges them. Right now it should be in the off position. Just using the leads off of this right here to clamp them together basically. Dropping, dropping. Okay, so when we go on, 7.8, that's good. They're kind of dead, but that's good. When we're off, this right here should only be getting four volts or less, I guess, uh, really, if these were fully charged. Yeah. 3.9, huh. So that should be 3.9, this should be negative 3.9-ish, okay. Hmm, see how it flashes right here? It's basically letting me know it, there's nothing in there, it's searching for a, battery, a charge of some sort. What I'm not getting is why it doesn't see one. No, it's not broken. The wires on here are made it so that when it's on, they're in series, and when it's off, they're in parallel for charging. Okay. I tested this, I get 3.9 volts here, but that blinking light right there is telling me it doesn't see like there's any batteries in it. Okay, so each end of this positive connects to there, this negative connects to there. Each one of these feeds into the center terminal on here. So when it's on, they join together as in uh, okay. series. When it's off, they both kick back to here. Do Some you of the other batteries, so you can try a different set of batteries and see if it's just those batteries. No, I know it's not the batteries. I'm going to desolder from here, solder on two new wires, and just connect them and see if it starts charging that. What do you think it is? I don't know. That's why I was going to have mm. you try the batteries first before you start desoldering. We're just using them. But they could be old and shorted somewhere inside. Yeah, grab two of the, one, the two I, I just gave you. So when I am so if you, on, like that, yeah. so I get 8.4 volts. So when I flip it off, and I plug this in, so it's seen fully charged. Grab two of those other ones, I think. I've got about 600 18650s at home. I am working on a project at home. I have a low rider with hydraulics. And what I'm trying to do is convert it from eight uh, Group 31 Deep Cycle Marine batteries to lithium. So I'm using used ones to test. We're gonna try these other batteries. Alex brought up a good point that it could be the cells themselves, being that these are salvage cells. Those are really dead. 1.8, two volts. Very, very dead. So now we flip it off. Alex, you genius! It was the batteries. It's charging these other ones just fine. Okay. So why would the other ones not charge? 
Why would it not wreck you? Yeah. I had this issue before I have ever brought it here. Maybe why would even though it? No, uh huh. Something stupid. Do you know how many people told me I couldn't do that with the switch? That you couldn't switch between the parallel and series and you would short it out? It works. Alex is a fucking genius. I don't know why it was those cells. This is Alex. Just so I give credit where credit is due. Ooh, it's doing something wrong. There, see, now it's fine. If I spin the batteries, it'll glitch out and like stop charging. Okay. I think it just is something to do with the contacts. Yeah, it works. It was just those batteries, I guess.